The intensity only continues to ramp up as this series extends. Game three tonight here on the ice. James Sabalski here bringing you the play-by-play -play on EA Sports. Enough talk, enough hype. Let's do this. Your first period is set to go. A critical game for both sides here, and we are underway. Grabs the puck. Takes a shot with the stop. In front of the net, and the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. We're still in the early stages of this period. We're still scoreless. Off the face, off, they take the puck. Take it along the wall by playing. Can't maintain possession after that hit. Here's a short pass to Stevens. From the point, looks to make something happen. Gonzalez is on the attack. Just slide. He gets a great look at the net, but it is way off target. It can be fast, it can be hard, but it's got to hit the net. Oh, he made the save. How did he stop it? I have no idea, James. I mean, he was down and out, but profound athleticism and desperation got him back in to make it. And these fans are still buzzing about what we just saw. What a save that was, Cheryl. Yeah, he made an incredible save and really engaged this fan base. They're on their feet. You know they're right into the game. And listen, when they are showing you that kind of appreciation, you also want to play for them. Quick feed to Murray. Slides it across to Rivera. And he's knocked off the puck there. Davies picks up the puck. Picking up momentum inside the neutral zone. Uh -uh. Nice block. Scooped up along the wall by Myers. Right side set up ahead into the middle of the ice. and the nerves when you're a rookie, and that goal is going to do nothing but give him confidence. You see players working from this area all the time in practice. A quick snapshot. Goalie can't get set to position in time, and it winds up in the back of the net. The Crunch has clearly enjoyed a home-cooked pre-game meal because they are buzzing to start this one. They are just electric with that goal. Everyone on the bench is standing up. They provided an energy for this team early in the game. Now they need to build off it and keep pressing. Uses the force on that hit. Moves it on over to Robert. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. Syracuse has the puck. Let's see what the official says here. Such a tough penalty to take when the game's within reach. They're looking for the equalizer, now they find themselves shorthanded. Syracuse gets set to go to work on the power play for the first time tonight. An opportunity on their first power play of the game, James. And this is an opportunity to look at the coverage as well. See how they're playing, whether they're going to be aggressive or sit back. Denies the shooter on that play. Takes the puck as the clock ticks down on the penalty kill. Dumps it into the ozone. Scrum along the boards as they battle for the puck. Syracuse with possession in their own zone. The Americans get a hold of it. And gets it in deep in the opposite corner. Quick feed to Element. Looking to make something happen at center. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. Picked up along the boards by Element. And that nullifies that threat for the moment. Time's up for the power play. Both teams back to equal strength. Well, that power play wasn't very good, James. It's really slow and methodical. An easy read for the PK unit. You got to fight to find something in the middle ice and get some shots on that. Picked up along the wall by Myers. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. Oh, what a save with the glove by Tukarski! Syracuse really came to play tonight. They have put a lot of shots on net, and they lead it here in the first. Rochester's got the win off that draw. Takes the pass. Moves it around along the half wall. Oh, what a big time stop by on the felt!
Inching closer to the midway mark of the period, Syracuse leads it 1-0. Alarts gained possession, and his great work inside the face-off circle pays off again. The Americans have a hold of it in the defensive zone. And now it's grabbed by Prow. Down the left wing, they gain the zone. And that's blocked away. And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. Play set to resume with the face-off ready to go. Syracuse takes possession off the draw. Days taking it from his own end. Shot! Creativity flow. Well, I really like the effort on this goal, James. He shows a knack for the net and being real hard and heavy on his stick as he's able to put that rebound in the net. Goaltender's got to clean that up, though. That one got kicked right back out. Finley's run the draw at center. Syracuse has it against the half wall. Hey, to the middle! Oh, he comes up with a stop. The Americans will play from the defensive zone. Tries to the crease. Blocked in traffic. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Centering pass. And he denies that great opportunity there. Moves it to Bush. Slides the puck over. The Americans take it across the blue line. Rochester stop possession here in the offensive zone. Syracuse has been certainly subscribing to the lots of pucks on net theory because they lead it here in the first. Dumont's won a big draw in their own end. Syracuse moves it ahead. Penalty coming up here. The Americans don't like it, but they'll serve two in the penalty box. Time for the power play unit to get back to work. Well, they haven't scored on the power play yet, man. It is a tough thing to do, and this is an earned opportunity. They practice, they know what they're doing. It'll come. So they put the power in power play. That's exactly how the coach would have drawn it up, James. I mean, you move the puck around the outside to disrupt the coverage. You open up the middle of the ice, and then you get a glorious shot chance, and you capitalize. Excellent work. Syracuse has been skating circles around them so far here in this first period. They've been the better team offensively. Dumont's won the draw. Stevens crosses the line and is on the attack. He scores! Four straight goals are rolling now! And talk about confidence, hey, James? I mean, their opponent does not have an answer. They look absolutely stunned. I mean, they are like a freight train just pounding down on them. midway mark of the frame. Syracuse is laying the smack down all over them up by four. Joe's quick stick lands from the puck here at center. Loves the puck into the offensive zone corner. Syracuse has it in the defensive end. Handles the puck. Slip feed. The Americans gain possession in their own end. Tries to feed it over to Davies. He might have a step here. He scores! Man, is he ever flying, James? It looks like everyone else is in quicksand, and he is moving. He gets 
gets on his horse, he's in all alone, one-on-one -on -one with the goaltender. He doesn't freak out, he doesn't panic, shows a ton of confidence, and lets that shot rip. Syracuse holds a noticeable edge in the shot department here, and they lead in the first. Roberts won the draw inside the neutral zone. They'll go to work offensively here. Takes a shot. Stones him in front. Puck is frozen, and we get a stoppage in play. Syracuse has had multiple chances here in this first, and they have capitalized. Rochester's won the faceoff deep in their own end. Davies carries the puck in his own zone. Takes a shot. Oh, and he missed the net. What a chance there. Oh, James, when you're in the final, you've got that great scoring chance. you got to execute. You can't miss from that area. Oh, what a chance. He can't to put it in. James, I thought he had that one. If he continues to get to the net with that quick release shot, he's going to convert at some point in this game. The Americans will play it against the wall. Centering pass! And that's stopped! Syracuse moves ahead with the puck. Steps inside. And he takes the pass. Playing big in the moment there. Well, this is an incredible save, James. It's anticipation as well. Recognize that the shooter is in the low slot, getting in front of it and making the save. Poked away at center by Prow. Pass stolen in the open ice. With possession along the wall. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Sends one up to Mersh. Right up the gut into the offensive end. Here he is with the backhander. Gives him nothing in front. Moves it quickly over to Mersh. Denies him again. What a Well, the PKers are getting a ton of ice time, but guess what? Your offensive players are not, so you can't generate and produce. they got to figure out a way to stay out of the box. Well, I really like them working off the 1-3-1 sequence that they were successful on earlier, James. It really opens up the ice. So you're using and stretching the entire zone. And listen, there's a lot of ice for the defense to cover. So you can look to the flanks, you can look to the bumper, but a lot of options off of it. Can't keep a hold of it. Grabbed along the boards by Myers. And that's deflected. Angles it over to Yost. Takes the feed. Quick pass to Juma. Oh, textbook hook check to turn that over. Good fight for the puck along the boards. Great read in the offense and zone by Gonzalez. Oh, gigantic save by Cooley. Well, we know he's got a great glove hand, and man, does he ever show it off right there with that stop. Dumont's ready for the draw as we get set to resume this power play. Syracuse wins the offensive zone draw, and they'll start with the puck. Rochester's got it in their own zone. With a comfortable lead, James, some would say that the... Save James. I mean, that's just all about competing, finding a way to get to the puck. Big time hit on the corner boards. Myers works the puck in his own zone. Fires it, and that goes off a of body. Sends it quickly to Clay. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. The Americans play the puck from the back of the net. Blocked in traffic. Syracuse wanted to put some pucks on net to start this one. They have answered that in fine form and have a sizable lead already nearing the end of the first. Hey, a lot of people excited as this opening period comes to an end. One of the all-time great rock acts from the 80s getting set to play here for these fans. And we'll catch our breath. Back with more in a moment. It's time to support those around us with a monthly food drop. Opening face-off here in the second period is 
about set to go. It was quite the one-sided tilt in the first 20 minutes. Let's see if that continues here in the second. All right, Pounder, how would you assess this game through the first 20 minutes played? The Bruins' performance was abysmal in that opening 20 minutes, James. They didn't do anything right. It looked like a lack of preparation. And often that isn't just the coaches. That's the mindset of the players going in. I'm not sure what it was, but they're going to have to change it in the second period. This one was embarrassing. Syracuse applying all sorts of pressure here early in this second period as they have badly outshot them. Roberts won the draw and they're on the attack. Oh my goodness, it stayed out. What a save. It was all but in James and that athleticism and the will to get to that puck, that was on display. Syracuse continues to lead here early in the second, getting lots of shots on goal to this point. Rochester's won the defensive zone draw. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Here's a chance! Great save by on the felt! Skates in behind the cage. Here's a short pass to Crow. And he gets in front of that one-timer. Steps in front of that one. Takes it across the blue line. Quick feed to Element. And that's snapped away by Crow. Can't connect as it goes off a stick. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. Good, solid check, and he loses control of it. Stevens takes the puck. Here we go, odd man rush here. And that's broken up. Rochester's got a hold of the puck now. Moves it to Yost. Puts it on net. Reaches out with the trapper and just gets enough of it to keep it out of the net. In front, and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. Lots of time left in this period. A quick look at the scoreboard. It's too much to not enough. Five zip. Rochester's won the draw. Oh, I thought he had it. What a chance there. Oh, James, I thought he connected on that one. He's going to be disappointed, but he's all around the net. And he slides it quickly to Edmonds. Shot. I'm not sure if anyone's helping him out there, but he's dialed in and doing it all himself, making consecutive saves. And they continue to apply pressure here. And he loses control here. And now he passes it to Edmonds. And they turn it over in the neutral zone. Great read to break up the play. Rochester's got control of it now from their own end. Intercepted. Moves it quickly over to Gonzalez. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Syracuse has been all over them tonight. Offensively, they have been clicking on all cylinders. Knocked away in the offensive zone. And some good footwork to kick it away. Syracuse will play it from behind the net. Rochester's got the puck in the defensive end. The Americans played along the wing. Poked away by Dave. The Bruins need to find an answer in this game. They're halfway through it. They haven't dictated pace. They've been back on their heels. If they want to get back in it, they're going to have to find some energy and some momentum. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. Right through center and into the offensive zone. Quick shot. And he's got that one. The Americans will play it in their own end. Stillman's got the puck. Taken along the wall by Murph. And he serves it across to Crozier. Moves along the boards with some purpose. Crozier's going to play it against the half wall. And that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. Rochester's regained possession of the puck. Plagues back in the play after grabbing a new stick from the bench. And man, these things snap in half. Syracuse has possession of it now. Pinned up along the boards. Syracuse takes possession at center. He grabs the puck here at the point. Slides it diagonally to Fortier. The point line! Oh, what a save by Cooley! Slides it back to the blue line. Quick pass to Wolfpuck. And that doesn't reach the net. Scooped up along the wall by Element. 
takes the feed at center and moves up ahead. Here's a shot. Denies him. Puck is frozen and will get a faceoff. Syracuse seems to be scoring on every single opportunity based on the chances they've created up big here in the second. Joseph won the draw, they'll look to set up. What a block as he lays out, and I'm sure he'll feel that one. Syracuse looks to get things going now with the puck. Oh, that's a rattle. Did you hear those boards rattle? Snaps it on net, and that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. Fires it on net, gets a piece of it to make the save. Syracuse continues to lead here in this middle frame. They have been really active in the shot department. Alarms won the draw here in the defensive zone. Sends a pass over. Syracuse plays it along the wing. And play continues as that goes off the glove. And he takes the feed. The Crunch have gained control of the puck in their own zone. Sends the pass across the ice. Hit right there. Well, certainly was lined up perfectly, body on body, weight distributed right in there. And now he moves it to Biro. Here's a pass in front. He scores! What a goal! It takes hard work in the intangibles to get available for a one-timer in that low-slot area. You know it's going to be a grind. You're going to have to fight for your space. He does a great job of it and buries it home. The Americans finally show some life here, but it's still too much to not enough at this point. Yeah, they've been out-battled, they've been out-scored, and they've just been outplayed this whole game, but they've got to use that goal as a positive reset and just look forward. Rochester's gained the line and into the zone. The Crunch have taken possession on their own end. And that's poked away by Merck. Rochester's got the puck along the wall. Oh, an unbelievable stop high on the felt. Here they come, down the right side and on the attack. Just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck. Great four check by Gonsalves. They've got it on that rush. Dishes it off. Digging in defensively to stop that rush. Handles the puck at the point. And they keep the pressure on. Syracuse plays it up ahead. Here we go. Puck's in deep. Scrum along the boards as they battle for the puck. Rochester's got it in their own zone. Dumps the puck in. Syracuse has it near the wall. Picked up along the boards by Walcott. Syracuse looks to break out in their own end. Look out, here they come on the attack. Here's a shot. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Cooley. You have to be quick in your crease if you want to be able to deny those zone shots. He does that perfectly as he's tight to the shooter right there. And he takes the dish. Looks to set up at the point now. Puck scooped up by Crowell. Through center along the wing. Moves it to the middle. Scores! What a finish on the play! James, how surprised you think the goaltender is. He just spins around and tries to clear the puck, and he fires it past the tender. The Americans finally get some momentum going their way. Now, can they sustain it, though? It's going to be tough, James, unless they can string some shifts back-to-back to back together where they do create momentum and have possession in this game. You have to look for ways to be first to the puck, be relentless on it. That's what changes energy. And that's some great pressure on the offensive end by Murray. Came up with a nice save. Oh, he's so good. at its finest. And as play continues, this place is still present and they're getting loud here now. Wow, well, they're 
this is all about fan appreciation for that huge save. And man, does this ever feel good? You know, you feel it. Scores! And that's his first career playoff goal, and he'll take it. Uh, he will, James, because the playoff is just a different beast. It's not regular season anymore. You want to be an impact player. You want to make a difference, and he does tonight. The Americans are down, but they're certainly not out after that strike. They needed a little offensive flair to get back in this one. Now a deficit of two, and with an intermission that looms ahead, there'll be a lot to talk about and get going in the third. Face off here on the neutral zone, and we are back underway. And the middle frame almost done. Made the stop on the play. As a goaltender, you want to make yourself as big as possible, and that's exactly what he does right there and just takes away the net. Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. Here in the late goings of the period, Rochester still behind the eight balls. They trail by two goals. They win the faceoff here in their own end and take possession. Syracuse plays it along the boards. Along the half wall with the puck. Chance it first. He scores! Well, these below-the-goal-line goals are so difficult to track, James. I mean, when the puck carrier's below the goal line, everyone's turned puck focus, toes are turned, and the shooter gets lost in coverage to a quiet area of the ice and makes himself available for the pass. He delivers a one-timer that just beats the goaltender who's still looking at the puck. Syracuse is having one of those nights that we'll be looking at these highlights in the morning going, wow, wow, and more wow. Yeah, and they'll want to continue to wow into the third period and continue where they left off in the latter half of this game. But in order to do that, they're going to have to have good habits and not give any life to their opponent. Well, there you go. 40 minutes in the books. All right, friends, go grab yourself some water, get hydrated, and then buckle up because we got an exciting third period coming up in moments. The moment of truth has arrived for both these teams. Third period action set to go. No shortage of offensive highlights in this one. Let's see if that carries over here as we are underway in the third. Well, two periods down. Here we go with the third period. Cheryl, your assessment so far. Syracuse finds themselves with a comfortable lead in the third period, and they've earned it. They've been the better team by far. Their opponent has been chasing the game. Now it's about closing it out. Good battle along the boards for the puck. Gonsalves has it in the defensive end. And he keeps possession. The Americans scoop it up along the boards. Moves the puck up to Mersch. Moves it in front. And that doesn't go as it's off the stick. Here's a short pass to Clay. And the puck departs the zone. Nice feed of center moves up ahead now. Dumont's got it in the defensive end. Quick feed to Gonsalves. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. Let's get the official decision. I always hated to play in these games. It just came out flat. Nothing you did made it better. Now they got to kill off a penalty when they're getting blown out. Real tough game. As we're about to drop the puck, the power play unit back out onto the ice for another opportunity. Well, they've already scored tonight on the PP, James, and looking to really thread the needle again on this one. Their movement, their adjustments have been excellent thus far. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. Syracuse has the puck. Sends the pass over. Shot! Breaks the post! Syracuse is playing with confidence, James, and it's easier to play with it when you have a healthy lead like they do. They've been aggressive in the offensive zone. We just saw it right there as it went off the post and out. And this is the way they've been all game long. They've been funneling pucks to the net and the reason why they have that healthy lead. A little more room out there with a little four on four. 
Not typically that we see four-on-four four action, although it's a lot of fun. You certainly know they practice it in practice. This is something that they're aware of. They know what they're doing. They want to possess the puck and try and create numerical advantage. Big-time saving goal as he gets all of it with the stick. This is just great puck control to put the puck to the corner. No second shot opportunity. Oh, and serves up a little too sweet with that save. They're really clicking here in the offensive end. All sorts of pressure. Some solid defensive work in their own end with the poke check. It's an opportunity for the power play unit to go to work now as the penalty expires. Delayed penalty coming up here. No room for that one to get through. Moves it to Joseph. here boarding the call the Americans will get a small sample size of a five on three a short five on three here James that you know that they're gonna crash the net they've got to get it on their stick off their stick and they've got to crowd the front gets it out of his own end picked up along the wall by Prow Trying to get something going here with this man advantage as they start from their own end. Shot! Syracuse will try to kill a few seconds off this penalty. Puck moved back to center, forcing them to regroup. And it's kicked away. Thought we were going to get a whistle, but the puck clears out. And that's broken up. Deep inside the defensive end, still trying to clear. Nice play shorthanded as they get control of the puck. Flags taken down to the ice. We got a penalty coming up. And another call against the home team, and these fans have, I think they've had enough. They've had enough, and they're booing at the officials, and for the players, this is so frustrating. You try and kind of get the temperature of the way the official's going to call the game, and real tough to read when you get three in a row like that. The Americans have a brief five-on-three looming. A short five-on-three here, not long drawn-out passes, quick touches, and quick to the net. And it's in the net! That's a goal, they're going to count! Oh, that's a really tough goal, James. You can see the frustration on his face and the body language. Just thinks he lost track of it as it found the back of the net. The Americans have to find a way to get a couple more here if they want to try to salvage this one. Taking calculated risks, James, and jumping into the attack and pressing upwards. Now, you may give up some opportunities the other way, but you got to go for it. Takes a hit, he goes down to the ice and coughs up the puck. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Rochester's looking to break out of their own end. Grabs the puck and moves on out here with this man advantage. Moves it quickly over to Burke. That's blocked. A chance. Oh, and he somehow got a little piece of it, and it stays out of the net. What pressure here in the offensive end. There's the whistle as the goalie hangs on. Looking to win this draw and this man advantage here. Syracuse wins the draw. Here's a chance to clear the puck from his own end. Can't get it out as they tried to play it off the glass. And this is a tough one. You know the coach isn't going to like it. One, they needed a line change. And two, he got scores! And they strike once again with the extra attacker. Wow, this has been a potent power play. And Two things you need. You need creativity, but you also need structure. And the players know exactly where they need to be to set up to work their magic around the perimeter and then open up the lanes to attack the net. The Americans desperately needed something, and they finally made it happen. Well, they're in the final frame here, but they got one back. And you know what that's like as an opponent when you know that that team is coming and they're a wave. There's a lot of urgency, and they're a dangerous team right now. Swatted away with the stick in the defensive zone. Passes the puck over to Yost. Looks to pass it to Jost. Syracuse gains a hold of it. They put the puck into the offensive end. Can't hang on to the biscuit after that. Moves it over to Jost. Rochester's through center right now in the offensive end. Syracuse gains a hold of possession. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. Scrum along the wall. And that's just out of reach. 
Syracuse gains a hold of the puck against the boards. There's been so much offense in this game, James. It's been real entertaining for us and the fans in the building. Listen, I was more of a defensive specialist, so I wouldn't have been up in the tap, but clearly the game's changing. And that shot dies in traffic. Syracuse jumps into the offensive end and goes on the attack. Gets control of the puck here in his own end. Here's a chance on the attack. There's the whistle. We'll get a face-off after the goalie covers up. The Americans' enemy is starting to become the clock as they still trail here in the third, despite several scoring chances. And they win the offensive zone face-off, and here we go. Oh, and there's a great save by on the felt. Takes it across the blue line. Here's a shot. Quick stop by Cooley. Down the right side and into the zone. Shot! Stopped by the goaltender, getting a piece of that one. Nice poke check. Stevens moves the puck. Plays it in on the breakaway. Stopped on the breakaway. What a save he made there. Well, I loved how he challenged the shooter on this, James. He didn't sit back in his net. He came right out to the top of the paint and said, if you're going to beat me, you got to find room. James, and he knows that he's not going to have much time or space to get it off, so he elects to use the snapshot and beats the goaltender. Syracuse has to be feeling good at this point of the game now, up by two in this third period. I mean, you're not complaining about this if you're a player, right, Cheryl? Uh, you can't be. I mean, it's been a, a game that's been real competitive. It's been neck and neck. Now you find yourself sitting with a two-goal lead late in the third period. Now you got to find a way to close it out. Sometimes it's the most difficult spot to be in just to see it through to the end, James. But where would they rather be? Hard hit frees up the puck. The Americans looking against the half wall. Quick pass to Richards. They fight for it along the boards. And knocks it down out of midair. Oh, and he completely muffs the shot. Shot deflected. Element stick handling in his own zone. Takes a shot. And he was ready for that one. And that's knocked away by Element. Oh, turns it aside once again. Carries it into the offensive end up the middle. Takes a shot. And kicked that one out of the net. Getting a little too physical to maintain possession. Battle ensues for that loose puck from on the boards. Battling for the puck, but still hangs on. A centering chance! Shot off the club and makes the save! Tremendous intensity here in the offensive zone! Reaches out and uses the stick. Takes the feed from his own end. Here's a short pass to Biro. And he makes the save on that play. Here's a chance! Oh, what another save! This is a dialed-in goaltender, very aware, knows where the shooter is in that low spot, and makes the save. This is a face-off. They'll definitely want to win here inside the offensive zone. And they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Lays out to block it. When your team's leading in the third period, it's those types of plays that get you the recognition. You're sacrificing your body to take away the shot lane. That's great work. Rochester's in on the offensive attack now. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. Trying to get back on the attack now. Takes the feed. What a steal in his own end. Picking up momentum across the zone here on the right side. The Americans will play it against the boards. And the goalie somehow gets a piece of that one. I love that he swallowed this one up with his glove. It's a real threat coming from the slot area. No rebound to boot. The Americans are running out of time as they trail late in this third period. Rochester's got it in the offensive zone. And that's deflected off someone in front. A chance to ice it into the empty net. Works it across to Bush. 
Manchester's got the puck against the boards. Denies him on a play. Takes the feed at the point. Cheryl Pounder, I'm James Sabalski. We'll talk to you then.